October 25th. The Beneficial Things What is beneficial for you? Obviously, the first thing that you should consider as beneficial is your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. If you want to know where you're supposed to go in life, you have to establish a connection with the person who gave you the assignment, the person who created you. It's no wonder the Bible says the greatest commandment is to love God first with all your heart, mind, soul, will, and strength. See Mark 12:30. when you do that, he reveals to you the assignment that you were born to fulfill. Once you are certain of where you are meant to go in life and have truly committed to it, then a lot of the extraneous things will fall away on their own. After you capture your vision, you need to prioritize your life in keeping with that vision. You have to decide how many of the things that you are currently involved in are beneficial to your dream. Again, there might not necessarily be anything wrong with them. They just may not be right for you to be involved in based on what you need to accomplish. The key is that the vision itself decides what is good for you. You don't just do good things. You do things that are good for your vision. Most of us know the difference between right and wrong. Therefore, your greatest challenge is not in choosing between good and bad but between good and best. A vision protects you from being misguided by good alternatives. It allows you to say no to lesser opportunities, even if there are certain benefits to them. Prayer, Father, help me to choose between good and best. Sometimes they are so similar. Please give me discernment by your Holy Spirit to know the difference. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thought, the vision itself decides what is best and most beneficial for your vision. Reading, Jeremiah 6-8, 1 Timothy 5.